prayer. Let's pray. Almighty God, we, we just thank you today for your many blessings uh, that are poured out upon us every single day. For your kindness, your mercy, your grace that is shown to us. We especially praise you, Lord, for the gift of your Son, the Lord Jesus Christ, knowing that he came into this world to save sinners, to deliver us from the bitterness of sin. And so help us to remember that day by day, Lord, and to be thankful to you for your goodness. We pray, Lord, for a real sense of your presence in our lives, not only here in church today, but through every single day, that we would be conscious of the help of the Holy Spirit in every situation that we find ourselves. And we ask, Lord, for particular mercy to be shown to uh, those who have special needs. Uh, we continue to pray for Ivan Armstrong. We thank you for the treatment that he has received. Uh, Lord, we know that he has had a scan and awaits the results. And so we pray for those results that they would be favorable, Lord, positive, and that Ivan would be encouraged and that you would indeed give him that healing that only you can give, that you would restore him back to a a measure of health and strength once again. And be with Elizabeth, Adam and Jessica in these difficult days that they would know your grace and your strength as well. We remember the older folks. Uh, we pray, Lord, that they would be very conscious of you near them through every single day. We pray, Lord, you would give them contentment and a degree of strength as well and a sense of well-being, knowing that their faith and trust is in you, the one who delivers from uh, sin, the one who watches over and keeps us, each and every one. We want to thank you, Lord, for the protection of our children over these past days as they have returned to school. We thank you for how well things have gone in that regard. And we pray, Lord, for your continued presence with them uh, day by day. Keep them safe, Lord. Protect the whole school environment against COVID-19. And we pray, Lord, that uh, there would be nothing that would uh, hinder our children being able to uh, be taught together in the schools and to have friendships and fellowships there that will be good for them. We pray for the virus, Lord, that it will not flare up into another wave of deaths. We pray, Lord, that you would overrule in that and that you would also be guiding the, the scientists and the doctors who are seeking to find a, a, a cure. Uh, we pray, Lord, that you will uh, make that possible and that uh, the effects of this virus would be nullified. Lord, we pray that you would help us each and every one as we seek to be fed spiritually, we thank you for the various meetings in the church. And as we discuss those, Lord, as we consider uh, restarting various things, we, we pray for wisdom and guidance that you would help us particularly with regards to the Friday Club, uh, that you would show us whether or not we should have the club, and if so, how we can have it. And so we pray, Lord, for your help in that. And that we pray that those who would have uh, the, the responsibility of leading the club would be clear in their minds and their hearts about what to do. So give us wisdom in these things, we pray. Indeed, in all uh, the various uh, activities of the church, give us wisdom and, and help us to do only that which is good and right and which brings honour and glory to Jesus Christ, our Saviour. We want to pray as well today for the church in Nantes, in France, remembering Andrew and Heather and Matthew, knowing, Lord, how lonely it must be for them to be cut off from the fellowship of the wider church and to be hindered too in the activities that they can have in the fellowship there. We pray, Lord, that you would provide for them in these days, that you would grant them means of having fellowship with others. And Lord, that as they do meet together for times of worship, that those would be times of real blessing 
And may you pour out your spirit upon the preaching of your word there, that those perhaps who listen on the internet would uh, be challenged and brought to saving faith and added to your church, and that even through these difficult times, Lord, your church would grow. We ask that same prayer for our own fellowship here, that we would see increasing numbers and that you would be pleased to add to us. So, Lord, please hear our prayers, forgive our sins, as we ask all in Jesus' name. Amen.